Hi everyone, I've just popped in to give you a quick show and tell of a masculine file folder that I've made and this is my April design team project for Marcy Coat and her digital papers. Uh, just got in by the skin of my teeth because one more week to go and then April's finished. Gosh, where's that time gone? Well, I've highlighted uh, Marcy's papers on this one and her words that she has in her Etsy shop as well. And they're beautiful words that she's got. And I printed these on a, a thicker cardstock, so I cut them out and put them on there. Uh, for the side, as you can see, I've actually got... Um, some elastic running down here and I didn't have any black so I've coloured it with a pro marker and then I've put this uh, ornamental embellishment there which I thought went really well with it and for the back this is um, stamping and that's Ali Reeve stamps I've had them for quite a while and they they're really nice actually and they stamp very very well but look at the gorgeous papers there aren't they lovely that's like a burlap paper I really like it but um and that's the other side that's actually concertina so it opens up and it needed to open up actually because this is quite chunky inside and when you open it I have a magnet there so when it closes it just picks up the other side with the magnet so there and more stamping here and I've used the Prima gold foil uh, along the edges as well because I thought that gave it a really nice distressed look and I've done stamping with this uh, inking with this which I haven't done for a long time either but I needed to put some ink inks on to make it all um, distressed and raggedy looking as I like it um, right inside um, now there's a pocket here I have to hold that because it's going to flop open but I'll show you in a minute there's a pocket there and you can put um, more you can put two more um, photo mats in there I'll show you what I mean in a minute because I've done the photo mats on the middle there so that's a pocket there now this here is I'm going to take it out because that's the um, elastic that was white because I didn't have any black so I did the elastic there so you can put the journal um, you can take it out, put it in quite easily. And I've used her beautiful papers in here. They are so gorgeous. But I stamped and embossed that and I stamped onto her papers as well, as you can see. And on the back, these are her script papers. Um, in the uh, comments section down below at the bottom of the video, you'll be able to find all the links for her papers. But also on my blog I've, I've put pictures of this on my blog so you can go and have a look there and that's actually www.shellsartwork.com you'll find that underneath in the um, description box as well so this little journal book here is, is gorgeous look at the papers aren't they stunning and that's what I wanted to showcase this time around the papers I didn't really want to put lots of embellishments or anything because it is masculine and you know what men are like they're not into that sort of thing isn't that lovely look at that love it love it love it I so enjoyed doing this um, project as well it was just a real pleasure to do and there was no I haven't done stitching for the um, binding of the book I've done oh gosh can you think I can't remember 
you know what? I couldn't remember for a minute what they were called. Of course, staples. I stapled these books together rather than... Oh, I'll put that back in a minute because um, I want to show you this next. Um, oh, before I, show, before I go into that, this drops down here. It's a flip down. And these are the photo mats, what I was saying, that you can put them in there might even actually leave one in there but no I'm going to make a bigger one and that stamp there um, that's perfect because it whoever has this it'll tell them to put a three by four photo on there and it's the same there same there and the back as well so there's four of those which I think are gorgeous actually so there can you see and I love this stamp place. I've got uh, lots of, I'll just show you the stamp actually, because there's lots of sizes that you can do. And this size here will take a four by six photo when I do the map. But I completely forgot to do the map for that. But that's the stamps. And it's called the Cutting Cafe Shop Clear Stamp Set. And they're beautiful. I think they're just perfect for matting and layering with your photos to tell people that... Oh, look, now I've put that back in the wrong place. That should go up there. There you go. And it sits perfectly like a little waterfall concertina. And then this goes up here. Now this actually opens up here. And inside... Let me just get these out. One, two. They do come out quite easily, actually. I made them a, a, a bit smaller than the wallet case because I knew that I'd have trouble otherwise putting them in or out. So now this one here, um, again, I haven't done any stamping on the back of that one because it's dark enough anyway, the papers, it wouldn't show up that much, but more stamping there. But with this book here, Marcy does lined papers, um, coffee dyed lined papers, and they're gorgeous. And again, I put the staples in the middle rather than running stitch. Um, to me, that seemed more masculine for a man. So that's what I did there. And then this one here, again, um, every empty bottle is filled with stories. Isn't that lovely? I like it there. And in this one, though, I've again concentrated on the papers. And these papers are maps as well as um, images and music, different colours as well. Put some lined paper for writing, whoever wants, you know, whoever gets it and writing. So there's the three books that are in there. And these two obviously are a little bit, I think they're both, yeah, they're all the same width. But this one's a little bit longer because obviously this one goes inside the elastic so that you can take it in and out and write on it there you go whoops yeah there you go sorry about that I was out of the film bit there but that's it I'm not going to put these back in because untie it again and everything but as I say if you I've put a link below for everything that you can see I haven't done any um tutorial on this it's um Quite an easy one to do. Um, I did a very similar uh, uh, project to this on my blog and I'm going to leave a link to that down below as well to show you a, a different file folder wallet to make and it's quite a masculine one as well so I'll leave you a link to that and then I'll just leave you with this now and look at it. Um, I might also show you a quick sneak peek of two other journals that I'm in the process of making. 
um, let me take this away. Yeah, and as I say, all the pages for this is in the link below. You can pop on and see. Right, this is one that haven't finished it yet. It's not much to finish, you know, and then I'll do a video on it. But oh, I love this. It is absolutely gorgeous. So I've been plowing my way through that. I've also been plowing my way through this one. I'm quite into the um, distressing and inking again and that that isn't right at the moment i do not have any black elastic this i don't know what this is i was given that by a friend but it's not um what i need for this and i've ordered some and i'm waiting but um lots going on with this one and inside here are all things that i've actually got to go into the book as well as you can see, it's not quite finished yet, but it's two signatures when I do finish it. And there they are. There are lots going on with this one. Quite a bit of Graphic 45 with this, this one as well. Um, lovely pages in vellum, as you know, which I like. And with this one, I also did one of the boards here. And what you do, this will be in with the journal as well. and what you'll do because there's so many uh elements in there and lots of different layers um you'll just put this behind and so you can write on it as well so this is my next project and they're my next video videos as you can see it's not finished yet until i get the elastic for that but there's it's going to be a chunky one as well and these are all the rest of it that's going in there but there's two more things that will come eventually as a video but i'm going to leave you with marcy's because i did like that and i stopped what i was doing to do this and i could have just carried on and carried on with this one because it was just gorgeous the papers lend themselves to anything so as i say link down below have a look and we'll be back soon with another video bye